Hey, what's up everybody? Johnny and I are back here once again with yet another video. So today I figured I'd show everybody how to get OBS and Soundflower working with your DAW, specifically Reaper, so you can do these awesome tutorials like me and capture your screen. So this tutorial is going to be for Mac only, so if you're a Windows user, I'm sorry, you're out of luck. I love Bill Gates, can't stand Windows. So the first step is to install OBS and Soundflower. The links are down in the description, so once you download those, we can move on to step two, which is creating an aggregate device. So we want to go to Utilities, Audio MIDI Setup, and we want to click this plus sign here and Create Aggregate Device. So the interface I have that I'm using to record is my Avid 003, it's a Pro Tools interface, and then Soundflower. So we want to select Soundflower 2 channel and your interface. We also want to turn on Drift Correction and we do not want to select 64 channel. We also want to rename it. I already have one made so I'll get rid of that one. This is mine. I called it OBS Screen Capture. So once Audio MIDI setup is done we can move over to Reaper and configure that. So for the audio device, we want to choose the aggregate device we made in the audio MIDI setup, which is my OBS screen capture. So we'll click apply. Okay. Awesome. Now the final thing in Reaper to do is to right click the routing and just make sure you have output one and two selected for Soundflower and output one and two selected for your main interface. All right. So once that's done, now we can go into OBS, the, the meat and potatoes, the meat and potatoes, the meat and potatoes. Okay. First things first, we want to create a scene. So we just want to click this plus sign and then we'll, you know, name it something. Just name it scene. And then we want to choose a source. So the best source is a display capture. I've already created it. All right. Now, <clears throat> it's important to separate your microphone from your desktop audio. So desktop audio means whatever is coming out of Reaper, and your mic uh, slash auxiliary is whatever microphone um, is outside of Reaper. So we want to go into preferences. We're mainly going to be dealing with output, audio, and video. So let's start with output. When you first open OBS this will be on basic we want to choose uh, we excuse me we want to turn this to advanced now we are only recording we're not doing any streaming so we'll click this recording tab select the recording path where everything will be recorded we want to choose a recording format and uh, how many audio tracks we want to record so I want to record two audio tracks because I want to record my mic separately and my DAW audio separately. So we need to change recording format from FLV, which is there at the beginning when you launch OBS, to something that supports multiple audio tracks. And this is what that is explaining right here. So other than that, that's pretty much it. Oh, and we also want to change the bit rate of our tracks. So you can have a total of six tracks in OBS. At the start, when you open OBS, these will all be at like 160 or something really low. So just make sure these are all uh, high up there. And then audio, this is where we select our interfaces. So for desktop audio device, we want to choose Soundflower 2 channel. And desktop audio device 2 is disabled. Now for mic auxiliary audio device, we want to choose our interface. So my Avid 003. And then just disable mic audio device 2 and 3. Uh, leave the sample rate at 44, channel, stereo, that's all good. And then video is pretty basic. Just make sure it's 1080p, 1920 by 1080. And then click OK. And one more thing to change is we want to right click right here and then we want to go to advanced audio properties. Now here's where you choose which track goes to which um, output. So desktop audio, I want to be on track one, and then my mic to be on track two. 
So just deselect all of these and then just make sure you have that for track one and that for track two. Now we want to down mix the mic to mono because if you don't do that, it'll just be on the left side and it just avoids a lot of, uh, you know, extra work getting, turning that mono signal into a stereo signal at the end. Um, and so that's pretty much it for that. One thing I will mention is that if you are wanting to record anything in um, input two of your interface um, and you do not down mix to mono, you will have your guitar coming out of the right channel of mic and your microphone coming out of the left channel because OBS uses channels one and two from your interface to, um, you know, uh, show this audio here. So the only thing you have to do is if you have a, a more than two interface, uh, more than two channel interface, put all the other, um, put the microphone in channel one or channel two, and then put everything else in three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I don't think you'll be using too many inputs, so that's okay. If you only have two inputs, that's all right. You'll just have to separate this file once you import it into Premiere Pro. Okay, so we can close that. Now, once you uh, finish recording, they, the file will go somewhere that you have specified. Here's mine right here. Now, when you play it just from there, you will not hear any mic audio. You will only hear desktop audio. Do not worry. It is still there. All you have to do is import it into Premiere Pro, and Premiere Pro will, will see these two separate audio tracks, and you will be able to adjust them separately. So that's very key. So like if you're recording some guitar, and you don't want the guitar to come up through the microphone, just mute the microphone for that section, and then you have your beautiful guitar tone. So let's just show you how this works real quick. So let's bring OBS into Reaper. I've got some drums set up. So if I just play some drums, you'll see desktop audio start to go. Right? So when desktop audio is going, the mic is not going through there. I do not have a mic anywhere on Reaper right now, which I want because I could. this way I, you can separate things. So let's just play something real quick. Okay, pretty sweet. So yeah, that's pretty much all it is. <laughs> it is quite a bit, a lot of uh, fooling around and messing around. It took me a couple days to get it going, but a couple friends helped me out, you know, just searching YouTube and Facebook and all that stuff. Um, I think this will be a very good definitive tutorial on how to get it set up completely free, not using any um, plugins within Reaper or anything like that. So yeah, thanks everybody for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for way more awesome content. Have a good Easter everybody. Take care. Goodbye.